it is a real pleasure to be here with you this afternoon just uh, i am coming from uh, another uh, what we call as a sector wise meet on gst so first of all most people thought that it will not come through on uh, 1st of july and everybody prayed and you remember the number of uh, uh, whatsapp messages that went around to the level that the revenue secretary mr or dr hasmukh adia has to actually come out and make it very clear that that is not true and uh, the roll out will start on 1st of july and maybe to make that message loud and clear because everybody somewhere or other thought that it will uh, not happen so therefore they announced that this function will happen on the midnight and it will happen in a way that everybody will remember it almost at the level of uh, you know 14th 15th midnight of august 2, 1947 and now you know we know that it is reality people were very worried even now many of them are worried and their main concern was what is going to happen how it will happen whether we can take this they were also worried that it may be as disruptive as uh, many people said the demonetization etc but i am happy today to see that we are on the 14th day almost we have completed two weeks and we are all doing well without any major issues even our exports have been quite significant and there has been no major negative news anywhere that this has happened or that has happened so i would like to congratulate all of you that such thing could happen uh, in our country many people try to see it as if it is not so significant but if you ask me it looks like that if there are three important dates in our history i will say the first one will be 15th of august 1947 the second one when we became a real uh, you know republic and in that sense on 26 january 1950 and I, after that i without any doubt i say that the next major thing is definitely 1st of july 2017 if august 15th gave us the kind of you know independence political one today what happened on 1st of july actually gave us a kind of a you know economic kind of independence and the whole country has been unified economically and therefore you know all of you coming from the logistics sector i think all of us realize the importance of this and at least if nothing else those check post with kilometers of vehicles waiting because we can't call it in numbers how many are there we don't know but it ran into kilometers yesterday i was talking to my friend who happened to be the transport commissioner he was telling me that he will call the odisha people and tell them that now our areas in uh, then andhra pradesh are getting affected in srikakulam and others because there is such a long queue of vehicle running into few kilometers now vehicle starts from uh, earlier from gurgaon suppose maruti car uh, which are being transported in those specialized uh, uh, vehicles it has to cross almost 11 check post one side and then the other side and no where it takes like less than 2 3 hours so you know that means that almost 30 40 hours 
the vehicles will wait. One day we were discussing the same thing in GST council and they told us that in certain places if the server is down, the vehicles need to wait almost 24 hours, 30 hours. So you, you, we can understand how this whole logistics was working earlier and what a great change it is going to mean. Similarly, the entire thinking, the way the warehousing, etc., will get organized is going to be totally different. The kind of inefficiencies which have been there and what is it going to mean. So I feel that it is one of the biggest thing which has happened. The businesses are going to grow. I don't have to remember what is the tax rate in one state and when you go to the other state. So it is a great opportunity. I would uh, not like to go into more details, but if there are some things, you know, in Telangana, we are moving ahead quite well. And we also see that because of our location, we can also become a big logistic hub. You have already seen what Telangana has been doing in one of uh, the, uh, the promotion of industries in form of TSI pass and many similar initiatives of the government when, uh, you know, various kind of things that are happening, the logistics hub which is planned and which has started off. So there are many opportunities.